the 2012 IE Reedy Award winner, Dr. Fail Wynn Jr., Durham Tech. Fail Wynn is a natural born leader and he accomplishes and gets things done because he stays focused on the goal, but he does it in such a pleasant way where he brings everybody together to make these things happen. Before becoming president of Durham Tech, Fail Win Jr. learned what it meant to be a leader during his first command in Vietnam. And so a helicopter flew me out there when I got there and, and the helicopter hovered and I jumped out of it. You know, the entire unit, 47 men, were all white. And I was, you know, not. Because I had a group um, uh, in my unit um, th that were from the Deep South that refused to acknowledge or accept me as their leader. And they, and they, they were playing uh, Hank Williams Sr. songs. You're cheating hard and half as much, I remember well. So I just sort of wandered over to where they were, they were group drinking beer, you know, and sort of relaxing, cleaning weapons. And I just started singing along uh, with Hank on those two songs, which I knew. Which, you know, they were taken aback by that. And they asked me, how did you know those songs? And I said, well, I grew up in Oklahoma, and that's what I heard on the radio. You know, that broke the ice. I mean, you know, that common thread and, and me showing them that, you know, that we, we had some things in common. It, it created a 180 degree turn, you know, in their attitudes and they became you know, very loyal from that point on. After the war, Fail turned his sights to education, and in 1980, Durham Tech needed a president. We must have had 70 people applying for the job and some very uh, top-notch people. He was approved, and we made a good choice. He was a people person, a charismatic leader, uh, someone who uh, had no difficulty talking to anyone in this world. Fairwind could have done literally anything he wanted to do. He could have been president of IBM, he could have been president of the United States. Dr. Wynn broke new ground as the first African-American president and the youngest president of a community college in North Carolina. When I became president, we had more than 3,000 high-paying cigarette manufacturing jobs in downtown Durham. By 1986, they were gone. And so when we became aware of this, we, you know, we had to really scramble working with the existing businesses to set up uh, opportunities for retraining for employees. You know, we were, in, we were uniquely positioned to do that because only community colleges are that flexible and that adaptable to be able to help create, you know, programs on short notice and work that closely with business and industry and with local government to ensure that the transition is smooth. He has touched the lives of countless individuals. There have been over uh, 18,000 individuals who have completed a credential um, of some sort uh, during Fail's 27 plus years as president of Durham Tech. And those 18,000 individuals have in turn touched the lives and changed the face of the community in, in, in countless ways. Dr. Wynn has many great qualities, but I think one of the qualities that really sets him apart is that he is able to recognize strengths and potential in people that often people don't even recognize in themselves. He required me to push a little harder because a lot of times I wouldn't always uh, apply myself fully and I guess he could see it or whatever and he would say, well, did you do your best? I always looked up to him. I, I think it's mainly his poise, how he cares for people. Um, he just doesn't just do it just because he has to do it. He really cares. I looked up to that a whole lot. Dr. Wynn identified the challenges impacting the community, and he initiated scholarship and mentoring programs to help people achieve their goals. So it's our role to do all we can to help them achieve those goals. Find out what those goals are, find out what those impediments may be, you know, in terms of any you know, economic, socioeconomic factors, and then provide them the resources to help them succeed. Well, um, I would like to congratulate you for receiving this award. I just want to say, airborne all the way, sir. You deserve it. You're not a Buckeye, but you're good enough to be one. And in your own words, you done real good. So to all, I would say that you have honored me deeply and for that, I and my family are deeply grateful. Thank you.